Hello everyone, welcome back in my YouTube channel uh, in the continuation of Petroleum Geology Lecture Series. Today we are going to discuss about origin of oil and natural gas. As we have previously discussed about the elements required for the formation of a hydrocarbon reservoir and the timing and histories of the formation of reservoir traps and all of the elements of the hydrocarbon reservoir must be in place prior to the formation and migration of hydrocarbons. So, petroleum and natural gas are naturally occurring substance composed of hydrocarbon molecules uh, molecules made up of hydrogen and carbon atoms and possibly non-organic contaminants such as carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, nitrogen and oxygen. There are two theories concerning the formation of petroleum. First one is the inorganic origin and the second one is the organic origin. Inorganic origin theory. In 1860, Bartholot and Dimitri Mandley in 1902 stated that the carbon, the iron carbide in the earth's mantle would react with percolating water to form methane as the iron, iron carbide react with the water to form the methane and so this theory is called deep seated terrestrial hypothesis and in 1890 Sokolov stated that the hydrocarbon precipitated as the rain from the original nebulid matter from which the solar system was formed and this theory is called extraterrestrial hypothesis and now problem with inorganic theories there is no field evidence that inorganic process have occurred in nature the commercial accumulation are restricted to mainly only sedimentary basins. Accumulations are absent in igneous and metamorphic rocks. Second uh, and most important and uh, the accepted theory about the origin of petroleum is organic origin theory. It states that these fields are generated from the decay of prehistoric plants and animals under the influence of excessive pressure and temperature that exists in the earth's subsurface. Many research indicate that the petroleum and natural gas originated from two plankton, single sand plant found drifting freely in fresh or brackish water and algae. Zooplankton includes mainly the foraminifers and ostracodes. Over 95% of living matter in the ocean are plankton. During their lifetime, these organisms create energy from the photosynthesis to carry out their life process and it is the energy that we use today thus the term the fossil fuel so in by the sun energy they get the photosynthesis and they carry out their process over the geological time these free protein zooplankton and algae which are dead Settle to the ocean, sea, lake, river, or swamp bottom. 
and accumulate as the sediments in the form of sediments. This process occurs simultaneously with the geological process, erosion, transportation and deposition acting on the sand, silt and clay sediment that form sedimentary rocks. As the organic material and rock material accumulated on the sea bottom, the material at the top of the accumulation exert increased weight or pressure on the materials at the bottom of the accumulation. As this depositional process continues and the accumulation becomes thicker, the impact of Earth's geothermal gradient also begins to act on the organic material. And then the successive layer of organic rich mud and silt covered proceeding layers of organic rich sediments and over time created layers on the seafloor rich in the fossil remains of the previous life layer. Formation of different layers having the organic components. And then at elevated pressure and temperature, the decaying organic material are transformed into a dark waxy material that is called kerosene. And kerosene is an intermediary stage in the development of petroleum. And the process of converting the original organic material into kerosene is called catagenesis process. The formation of kerosene requires that the rock containing the original organic material be impermeable. Typically, fine grained clay rich sedimentary rocks such as shale are the most common source rock for hydrocarbon basins because they satisfy two of the requirements for the kerosene generation. First one is that they are the sedimentary rock and second one is the contain adequately, adequately low permeabilities. The black colored organically this cell deposited in non-oxidizing quite marine environment are considered the best source of. This is the uh, photograph of sale which is the best source of for the generation of petroleum in the sediment basins. So sale rock contain 99% clay minerals and 1% is of organic material. And the kerosene is the insoluble high molecular weight polymeric compound. And then the thermal alteration of kerosene forms crude oil by increasing the carbon contents. At shallow depth, less than the 3000 feet, bacteria action on the organic material to form biogenic gas or the natural gas. At great depth where high temperature and overburden is exist, thermogenic gas is formed. Later stages of thermogenesis will form wet gas and condensate. And then the hydrocarbon maturation. Here, as the depth increases, temperature also increases. Here, at the shallow depth, hydrocarbons are immature and mainly product is biogenic methane. And uh, at the zone of oil generation, is between the depth of 2 to 4 km which is initial maturity and the temperature ranges between the 60 to 130 degree centigrade and the hydrocarbon product is the oil and the heavy hydrocarbon generation 
this takes place and then at the depth below the 4 km and temperature is also range between 130 to 180 mature and post mature high temperature methane is formed mainly as condensate and wet gas and high temperature methane is formed like that is this blue color showing here in the <laughs> diagram so this is the hydrocarbon maturation at various depth and temperature now the support for organic hypothesis the carbon and hydrogen are primarily constituent of organic material both plant and animal nitrogen and porphyrins are found in organic matter and in many petroleum porphyrins are chlorophyll derivatives in plant and blood derivatives in animals these are the supports in relation to the organic hypothesis of the petroleum origin and this is the most uh, accepted hypothesis for the generation of hydrocarbon thank you